here at the 2017 Silver and Gold Summit in San Francisco. I'm joined by CEO of Avino Mines, um, David Wolfen. David, how are you today? Good, Chris. Nice to be here. Great. Um, so it's been kind of a uh, rough years in the metals and lately the equities, but uh, there's a lot of good news coming up for Avino and its shareholders. Sure. So let's uh, talk about uh, the expansion project at the main Avino mine. Yeah, we're, we've announced that we're um, adding a fourth circuit. So we're adding 70% capacity. We go from 1,500 tons per day to 2,500 tons per day. And we're about 90% complete. So we're expecting to commission circuit four, we're calling it, in Q1. That's excellent. And I listened to the conference call recently and that should be running at capacity towards the end of Q1. And did I yeah. hear that right? Yep. So what does that mean to your production profile? So this year we're on pace to produce about 2.7 million ounces of silver equivalent. Next year that'll add a million, so we'll go to 3.7 and we think it'll go even higher once we get fresh ore from the underground. Next year for the first half of the year, uh, we're gonna use old stockpiles on the surface to tune up the mill, yeah. the circuit four. And so uh, uh, we're saying it'll add a million ounces, but really when we go in the underground, the grades will be higher, so it'll add a million and a half in 2019. Excellent, and so what is going on with Braylorn? Um, you guys were gonna do a phased expansion. Yeah. I guess you guys just decided to scrap that plan. In favor it scrapped of it because the rules and red tape was changing. It took two years to get our base permits that we announced. So that allows us to mine. We have a modern permit. So we're so thrilled we, we finally got that behind <laughs> us. And now we filed an amendment to go to 400 tons per day. We pulled all the equipment out of the mill building and we're laying out a brand new mill that we're gonna put in there. We're gonna build that next year. Excellent, do you know about, do you have an estimate of the capital costs involved with that? Uh, the milling equipment is not gonna be a heavy CapEx expenditures, a few million. We've already put deposits down on, some of it's gonna be used equipment, used ball mill. It's, it's difficult to get brand new equipment. Most of the cost is gonna be in underground work and I can't tell you that right at yeah. this moment. We're still working on the budgets for next year. Do you have any estimate um, about the production profile at 400 tons per day as well as a rough estimate of uh, cash costs and all the sustaining costs? Again, it's preliminary to talk about that, yeah. but um, um, 400 tons per day at a third of an ounce, uh, once we can feed it on a sustained basis, it's going to produce uh, probably 40,000 ounces a year annually, and that can improve on the, on the grade. But I have to be careful in what I say because it's not based on um, a feasibility study, so yeah. it's got to be cautious. We're, we've, we've almost got a PEL, PEA level type information, so next year we'll probably release that information so everyone can get a good handle on Braylorn. Excellent. But all the infrastructure's in place. We've we put a raise on the tailing dam. We put in a, a buttress there. We've got the green light from the Ministry of Mines to use our tailings dam. We put in, a, we're in to about four or five million dollars for a water treatment plant. We put in a microfiltration water treatment plant so we, we can treat the arsenic water that's leaching out of the mine because it's a historic mine. So we've got all the environmental aspects behind us now. All that's in place. Now we're looking at development, um, expansion, and, uh, and reopening the mine. And so uh, we're planning to start drilling in Q1. Uh, we've got about 150,000 ounces uh, um, between M and I and inferred uh, that we, we drilled up in between the mines and we want to expand on that. Okay, so basically Avino is going to have a very robust growth profile over the next two, three years. The beauty of uh, Avino is that we can grow organically. So it's time and money, it's not luck. It's just being patient and waiting for us to build it out. So um, can you maybe touch upon the uh, your financial position? The metals haven't been particularly strong lately. Well, metal prices were weaker this year compared to last year. So revenue is not quite up to par with last year, but uh, 
Uh, we've got seven million in cash, twenty million in working capital. Um, we have uh, uh, the largest company on the planet as our partner, so we can get money from them anytime we want. And Samsung, so we sell all our product to them, yeah. and they basically told us. Um, as long as we can extend the agreement, we can keep asking for more money and it gets netted off deliveries. So it's like in a form of an offtake agreement. Excellent. And one last question. Um, so I noticed that in Q3 costs were up at San Gonzalo. Um, what was the reason for that? And well, is that a one off or will it? Well, when we first started, it had a five-year mine life. We're in the fifth year, so we've added a few years. So, you know, the, if you, the costs are going up because there's fewer tons to amortize, and, and so you're seeing the costs go up. We have been drilling. We've been finding more. Actually, uh, there's some drill results coming out before year end and, um, from both uh, Avino and San Gonzalo. And next year, we're working on a new uh, resource estimate. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us today. It was a very good update. Thank you. Hello, I'm David Morgan, publisher of The Morgan Report, and as some of you may already know, The Morgan Report is about money, metals, and mining. In fact, we cover all resources, from rare earth elements to precious metals. I've been publishing on the internet for about 20 years. My primary passion is to help people build and preserve their wealth. I love to make people millionaires. I've helped thousands of people via our research in The Morgan Report, which has thousands of paid members and 10 times that amount on our free weekly updates. Here's what you'll receive from our free newsletter. To the point webinars, week analysis of the financial markets, interviews and our conference schedule, special reports such as riches and resources and various metals price forecasts. Our paid service client base is primarily small to medium sized business owners professionals in the industry, or the seasoned investor who understands markets and the value of precious metals. My area of expertise includes equity analysis throughout the resource sector, energy metals, base metals. We cover startups to billion dollar corporations. We focus on a special sector that makes money regardless of price oscillations, and the importance of precious metals due to the ongoing currency devaluations. Our team of three analysts and support staff can help you build and protect your wealth. It's important for you to know what other people have said. We're passionate about what we do. High integrity and trust. Tell the truth and own it. For wrong, we admit it. Take a long-term outlook with major assets and bet a little to win a lot with speculative situations. If you choose to become a client, you will gain financial insights very few even professionals recognize. You'll understand the importance of honesty in our financial system. You will understand how the money system influences almost everything in your life. You'll be prepared for the ongoing currency crisis. And finally, I've chosen to make my life's mission greater than the individual, which means my mission statement is to teach and empower people to understand the benefits of an honest monetary and financial system. It's been a great journey so far and the best gains in the sector lie ahead over the next three to five years. I'm fortunate to have earned the status of being a leading authority in my field and helping others protect their wealth. You can email me at support at themorganreport.com or call my office at 480 325-0230.